Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the state of Washington, where we find a uh, young woman who has had a bit too much to drink and apparently got gas and drove away with the nozzle and hose. Well, that's not an uncommon problem. I mean, there's a lot of videos that float around of people doing that, so not entirely unusual, but still rather funny. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm Officer Montjoy, Federal Police Department. Uh, I turned on my lights and sirens and you didn't stop? Or turn on my lights? I did. I just backed to our parking spot. Sorry. Okay. Usually, like, if it's a traffic stop, you just kind of stop where you I are. Didn't know it was a stop. There's a lot of raids around here. A lot of raids, you say? Raids as in, like, there was just a bunch of police that was over there and whatnot. There's a lot of police that are circling around here. Oh, okay. So I don't necessarily, like, pull over. I just pull into my spot. What's up? Okay. Um, so, the reason I pulled you over, if you want to look over here to your, the side of your car, you have a, um... Were you at the gas station? I was. You're fucking kidding me. You know, uh, when you drive a car, you're supposed to listen out for any unusual sounds or anything like that. I wonder if you were too intoxicated to hear some loud bang or something dragging along the side of the car with you as you uh, drove along. I mean, it's it's just a thought. Did you hear any of that uh, beyond your intoxicated stupor? Fortunately, I said it's a possible DUI. Which, which, uh, gas station were you at? I was at the gas station, um, over there on campus, from my house. Okay. Yeah, I was over there with my boyfriend. He just put gas in my car. That's what I'm trying to figure out, like, if I can get that back to the gas station or whatnot. Uh, definitely. Definitely. I didn't know he hadn't put it back in there. I literally just, like, drove off because he told me it was good. Interesting. I feel like cursing him the fuck out. Are you fucking kidding me? This has been writing on me the entire block. That's that's what I and saw. And nobody has said anything. Well, that's why I stopped you is because I, I saw it on your car, so... Well, according to you, you only drove one block down before the officer spotted you and pulled you over. So, really, I don't think anybody had time to spot it until the officer spotted it. Luckily, it was the officer that spotted it before you got too far down the road. So, yeah, I would imagine people saw it but just didn't really have time to uh, react to it. Yeah. Oh, I'm about to curse the fuck out. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? He never took the... Yeah. How far How far away do you think that gas station was? Less than a mile. Like, Less than a mile away? Honestly, a couple of blocks. Okay. It wasn't even that much. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um... Yeah, he lives in, um... The pavilion, I think? Fortune Cubby. Some... Right over there? Yeah. In the next corner? Yeah. Okay, so I'll be honest with you. Um, with this and your driving and all this, do you have your license on you by chance? If this were a sovereign citizen, I am sure by now she would be complaining about her 12th Amendment right being violated or something like that. I mean, it's always some random uh, amendment that they claim to be violated. Or, in fact, as for one sovereign citizen, Article 4, Section 4 of the U.S. Constitution. But I don't think she's gone that far out yet. So so this is a traffic stop. So I'm, I need your license, registration, and insurance. Just I because... Just already because stopped. I've already parked. I was already in my parking lot. I'm really confused. So this is I had not even pumped the gas. Okay, but because I stopped you initially, it doesn't matter that you parked your car. This is a traffic stop. Okay. So, so that's, I need your license, please. That's perfectly fine. I don't have it on me. I have my passport right now. Okay, Melina, right? Yes. So, Melina, I'll be honest with you. Um, I have reason to believe that you're impaired tonight while you're driving your vehicle. Uh, correct. Like I under the enjoy. under the under the influence of a substance, correct. Well, no 
No shit. Yeah, that much is plainly obvious. So let's go ahead and skip to the next part where we see what if she can pass the sobriety test. Roll that beautiful bean footage. So I'm going to give you the instructions real quick. Okay. So what you're going to do is pick the leg of your choice. I think you said your right leg. What you're going to do is raise the opposite leg about six inches off the ground. You're going to point your toe. So imagine you have like a soda can under your foot. Okay. You're going to keep your hands down by your side. Look down at your foot and you're going to count like this. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003 until I tell you to stop. Okay. Do you understand the instructions? Yes, I do. All right. You may begin. It's a little cold. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,003, Keep your hands on by your side. 5, 4, 1,006, 5, 1,006, sorry, can't keep my balance up. 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010. Yeah, yeah, uh, you, perhaps you shouldn't have said that you were uh, losing your balance right there. I mean, yeah, it doesn't look like you're going to pass this test at all, really. I mean, it looks like you you failed. But there's always the consolation prize, which is probably going to be a shiny new pair of bracelets for you. I mean, I'm sure they would look good on your wrists. 1,011, 1,012, 1,013, 1,014. How far do you want me to go? I'll tell you when to stop. Got it. 1,015, <laughs> 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004. Perfect, you can stop for me. Yes, ma'am. You can put your shoes back on because I know it's cold out here. Very, very cold. I'm just trying to get home to my daughter. How old's your daughter? I got a four year old at home. Is she by herself or she's with someone? Uh, she's with my mama, but I gotta get ready to go back to um, I travel overseas. I live in Florida. Oh, okay. So you're getting ready to go back to Florida? I am. Okay. Um,. Is this all you have is this bag, this backpack right here? Oh, so you got a four-year-old daughter at home. I mean, shouldn't you be at home taking care of that child? I mean, your days of partying and everything like that should have ended whenever uh, you had that child. I mean, that's your responsibility, and you're not uh, abiding by it. For shame, for shame. I do? Is there something wrong? Yeah, so, well, right now you're nervous for DUI. No, 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 I can't, I can't, no, 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 I need y'all to understand I cannot go to jail. I have to get my daughter home. Melina, can you stop? I am not pulling against me. Okay. But I need to get my daughter home. Okay. Okay. Which unit is your mother in? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, can you, whoa, 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 Melina? I'm, I'm literally in the parking lot of my own house. I'm in the parking lot of my own home. Mm -hmm, correct. I initiated a traffic stop, and instead of stopping, you went and backed into a parking stall. That's why you're in the stall of your oh. apartment complex. Just because you made it home doesn't mean that it is a safe spot for you. You can still be arrested there. And, and the worst part about this is the video continues on, but you can barely hear or understand what she's talking about. And she doesn't even know which apartment she lives in at this point. She is that... Dang intoxicated. How sad. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.